I, I can't I, I can't too much stay focused on but that I'm in the ring with Canelo. I, I'm hungry. I want to win. I want to win this fight for my city. I want to win this for my town, my children. I want to win. It's, I just want to keep working hard and everything that I put on the line and all this hard training that I did, I just want to get it out of it. I want to I want to see what it's worth. I want to test myself. Ooh! Jamel Charlo's looking down in. He's looking focused. He's looking ready. He's looking sharp. Let me tell you something. I'm watching that workout. Have you, you guys see the workout? Watching the workout, I'll tell you this. First and foremost, Canelo Alvarez will be facing the best Jamel Charlo. If Canelo Alvarez beats Jamel Charlo, he has defeated the very best Jamel Charlo. And that's the black two sugars. Look, Jamel Charlo is throwing hard, sharp, technically sound punches. He's coming in at an angle and he's exiting at an angle. Another thing, he looks like he's in great shape. It looks like he's been really, really, you know, working extremely hard and focused for this. He looks in tremendous shape. Another thing, another thing, he looks light on his feet. He doesn't look like he, he could just move. He looks graceful on his toes, right? Like how Evander Holyfield used to bounce. Right now, you, you look at, have you ever seen, check out Marvelous Marvin Hagler, how he'll bounce on his toes. He looked nice. He looked graceful. That's being in shape. He has stamina. That's the jump, the, the jumping of the rope, the jogging, uh, the lateral movement. Right, doing all those things with the ladder and all those things. He looks graceful on his toes. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. He has to. Canelo Alvarez, this is what I love. Him punching hard and him being crisp and graceful. Because Canelo Alvarez, he's too good of a boxer to just do one or the other. You can't just slug Canelo and you can't just box him. Look. If you just try to box Canelo, he's too good of a slugger for that. You try to slug him, he's too good of a boxer for that. So when you look at Jamel Charlo, him doing both, that's why I'm saying Guzman, his trainer Guzman, extremely important. You're going to have to check out that relationship. I know Derrick James is trainer of the year, but you're going to have to check out that relationship with Guzman. Even If you look on the workout, even Jamel Charlo, he was in the ring and he asked, I think he asked Derrick James. But you couldn't see who he was talking to. He said, where's Gooseman at? Bro, because he knows he's going to have to do both, right? He's going to have to be able to, he just, he can't just do what Derrick James teaches him. He also going to have to be able to slug well and be graceful. And it looks like he's doing all those things. I'm going to tell you this. I'm not going to make a prediction on the fight because like I said, y'all can't handle predictions. I am making my bet, right? I'm betting, it, it was, it was going to be 2,000 on Jamel. I think I'm going to bet 4K on Jamel. But we'll see. I know people are going to troll and they can't handle bets either. But Fantasy Boxing League, we're trying to get that up and running. Okay, that's where all the predictions are going to happen in the Fantasy Boxing League. Jamel Charlo, though I'm not making any predictions on who's going to win the fight, I'll tell you this. It's going to be the very best Jamel Charlo that's going to be in there. And if he beats Canelo, that's because he's so good. And... Look, Jamel's trying to be an all-time great, and I love that. A lot of times, it's the underdog. It's the guy that people are not really looking at. They're looking at Terrence Crawford. They're looking at Errol Spence. They're looking at Canelo. They're looking at Inoue. You know, people don't even put Jamel on their pound for pound list. Those are the guys who overachieved. You saw Terrence Crawford doing that as well. People ignoring Terrence Crawford for all these years. You know, always on a pound for pound list, but never really a guy that everybody go to buy his fights and go see. People just know that he's extremely good. Jamel Charlo, being that focused, this is going to be the best Jamel Charlo. And if Canelo wins, he beat, he has beaten the very best Jamel Charlo. This is what I can predict. The best Jamel Charlo is going to show up September 30th. Canelo Alvarez, if his hand is healthy, it sh he should be the best Canelo we've seen in four fights. Let me know how you feel in the comments below. Shaw Biz, but no, I can't. Wait to see Canelo's workout so I can say who won, won, won the workout. I'm out.